This video is supported in part by Tommy and the Order of Cosmic Champions. If you enjoy The NeverEnding Story and Masters of the Universe, this new novel coming fall 2022 is right up your alley. Now, I am willing to admit that there may be other people more looking forward to this LEGO Atari 2600 than me, but they don't live on my street because I didn't see anybody else out in the front yard jumping up and down screaming hip hip hooray when the FedEx truck came. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. We have been looking forward to this LEGO Atari 2600 set for only maybe about six or eight weeks now. It seems like forever since this was leaked and it's finally arrived. And it's such a huge thing to do like a single video for. So what I'm planning to do is as I work my way through the set, we're gonna take individual parts of this set because there's the console, there's the diorama, there are the individual cartridges, the, the controller, all these pieces to look forward to and take a look at. And I wanna dig into those. And rather than making a monolithic, you know, hour long video, uh, I'm gonna make a playlist that I'll put a link to at the end of this video. But here we are getting started. We're gonna take a look at bag number one, the first part of the build, which is building that adventure cartridge. And this includes not only the cart, but also that little scene that represents adventure gameplay. And I wanna take a look at and compare the adventure cartridge you build with Lego to a real genuine adventure cartridge and see what they've changed, how they stack up, and how they compare. Okay, let's get going. The build for this first segment went relatively easily. And by the way, the instruction book is a beast. It must be a half an inch thick. It's enormous and heavy, but it's really well documented. If you're building this yourself, I'll let you know that I ran into one little hiccup, which is bag number one consists of two bags, both labeled number one. I spent a little time looking for bricks I didn't have until I dug around and found there were two bags labeled number one. You need both of those. Anyway, it went together fine. The cartridge is what you build first and it looks really nice. And then you move on to make that little vignette or that scene. I was happy to find out that no, you don't have to pick between one or the other. This set includes both the finished cartridge and the finished scene or vignette. You can have both of them together simultaneously. It's not something you have to pick or choose. So now that it's all together, let's take a look at what the design of the Lego is and how it stacks up against a genuine adventure cartridge. And here is the end result of that bag one assembly, the cartridge and the little scene here. Let's start by looking at the cartridge. Everything on the exterior is accomplished with these black tiles and it's completely studless. I mean, there's nothing exposed on the outside to make it as close as possible to a real cartridge. And all the decoration is done with decals, so. Be sure you're uh, careful with putting your decals on if you want it to be nice and straight like this. But the key thing is to compare it to a real adventure cartridge that's comparable. And what I want you to notice is all the cool things they've done to Legofy the artwork of a real genuine adventure cartridge. Look, the dragon is a Lego dragon. The tree over here is a Lego tree. They've really done a good job of taking what exists in the real world and making it very Lego-y. And on the topic of Legification of a real genuine article, let's compare the size, the Lego cartridge and a genuine cartridge. Just about the same size, maybe a little thinner, about the same length, and uh, yeah. If you wanna look on this side, there's a little green tile in here to represent the PCB on the back end of the cartridge. And if you opened up a real cartridge, you'd see the PCB inside of there if it didn't necessarily have this guard in place. So all in all, I would say an incredible reproduction of the genuine article in Lego space. Let's move on and talk about part two of this build, which is the little scene for adventure that represents the gameplay. So just a quick tour around it. It's the gold castle. As you can see, there's some grass around the side. We'll get to that in a second, which is really cool. Uh, and then we have a lego -y dragon here that I'm gonna just pull off so you can see him. The dragon itself is really tiny and simplistic. Uh, you know, to scale, it needs to be up against the castle so it can't be too large. So it's really just kind of a suggestion of a dragon because it's sitting in scale next to the gold castle. It has a little articulation if you are interested in doing something like that. That's just a little added bonus, but he's guarding this castle. Moving on to that castle then, I really like the design here. It suggests, of course, the adventure castle. This is the gold one. Uh, they have some shrubberies around the side, more detail than you really had in the game for that matter. If you peek inside, you can see the chalice is actually hiding inside of there. And around back of the castle is this unexplained little single peg. Now, this is clearly not the player, it's hidden. I'm convinced that someone that really knows their Atari trivia has hidden 
the secret Easter egg dot behind this castle. That's got to be what this is. The dot's typically in the black castle, as you know, but there's just one here. And so they've taken behind the castle, hid this single one stud brick to represent that hidden dot that you must retrieve in order to get Warren Robinette's Easter egg. What a great idea for this set. Lego, you have come out of the gate strong with this first phase of this set, and I have high hopes that the rest of it is going to continue this high bar. We are just getting started with this set. So much more to come, but already I'll tell you, I'm very pleased and satisfied with the overall design and general tone and aesthetic of what they have delivered here. It's, it's just right, and I'm very pleased and ready to jump in to the next part. So if you want to look right here in the corner, I'll put a link to a playlist for all the coverage for this LEGO Atari 2600 set, all the way from when it was first rumored to all the coverage we're going to give it here on Gen X Grown Up. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.